right. So you probably saw the the title of this presentation and you thought, what the heck is that all about? Um, so as Rob mentioned, I, I was a struggling trader for a lot of years. And for some reason, uh, I came into day trading with this unrealistic expectation, I think. And a lot of us come into day trading with a an unrealistic expectation of what we think day trading can do for us. You know, we have this when we are introduced to day trading. We have the the visual, and that's how it was introduced to me. I saw the visual. I saw people um, using charts and placing trades, and everything that I thought was going on was going on right in front of me, Okay. Um, so we, we all get kind of excited and we come into day trading and we think, okay, this could be for me. That looks really easy. I just need to know one easy little simple thing. And that little simple thing is I just need to know which way price is going to go. Right. Isn't that what we're all doing? But I'm like, okay, well, this new inter internet thing that's out there that people are talking about that people use a lot for gaining information and stuff. This was back when I started, right? Um, there's lots of there's lots of information out there, and there's teachers out there, and there's videos, and there can't be that hard to learn, right? So you get excited, and we start, and we we go, oh, there's no limit. All I need to know is one simple thing. Just tell me which way price is going to go. I just need to know which way price is going to go. So we finally get started with it and we go, okay, well, it's not quite what we thought it was. Yet we still hold on to these assumptions and expectations that, you know, this should be easy. Why? Well, there's, I'm missing something. There's a piece of the puzzle missing. What am I missing? So a lot of times we don't even ask that or we think it, but we're, we don't ever approach it the way we would approach other problems we have in our life, okay? The, like a grown-up. For whatever reason, we choose not to approach day trading as a grown-up, okay? All right. So same uh, risk disclosure statement that everybody else uh, has put up. Basically, um, don't trade with money you can't afford to lose. Uh, you uh, uh, should sim trade for a very long time before you ever trade with real money. Um, and most people lose money at trading, so you probably will too. So maybe you shouldn't do it, okay? Basically, that's, that's, the, that's the disclaimer here, okay? All right. So here's what I'm going to talk about today. First of all, we're going to define what is a grown-up. And a lot of you are going to start rolling your eyes and going, oh, boy, I don't need this. This has nothing to do with me. Then we're going to talk about what is an immature day trader. Then I'm going to show you our trading system, okay? And we call it a trading system for grown-ups for a reason, okay? And then we've got some free stuff that we're going to give away. And then I'll have a special offer for you for uh, some of our programs that we offer to, for our traders. Okay. All right. Grown up, uh, not childish or immature or adult. Okay. So another term for grown up might be adult. So let's look at a, a list of characteristics of a true adult. Okay, and this is this is not a complete list. It's in no particular order, um, but it's a list of characteristics of being a, a true grown-up. Okay, to be honest, most of you probably never actually thought about what it takes to be a true adult. It just happens over time, for the most part, but not necessarily completely or not necessarily in all circumstances. So what I want you to do, I'm going to go through this list. I want you to kind of pay attention to each line item. And, and before we move on to the next slide, I want you to ask yourself, 
how does this list, how does this item in the list pertain to me as it relates to day trading? Okay. Not necessarily in regular life, but in day trading. Okay. So by the time we get to the end of the list, I'm going to, I'm going to challenge you. Okay. I'm going to give you a little challenge. All right. So characteristics of a true adult. True adults uh, uh, realize that maturity is an ongoing process, not a state, and continuously striving for self-improvement. Okay, keep keep relating this to your how you're approaching day trading. Okay, accepts and assumes responsibility. Now, a lot of us have decided to give the responsibility to computers because we are no longer accepting the responsibility of being able to execute our trades. So we try to push that opportunity off on the computer. <coughs> Excuse me. Most grown-ups have uh, achieved a, a financial independence to the point where they're not reliant on others to fulfill their, their basic needs. Okay, um, has the ability to listen and evaluate the viewpoints of others. Here's this is important because a lot of you are going to be sitting here listening, and if I don't say something that agrees with what you already believe, you're not going to give any credibility to what I'm saying. Okay. So you maintain patience and flexibility on a daily basis. You accept that you can't always win. How many of you have spent hours and hours and days and weeks and years trying to filter out losing trades? Okay. But instead you learn from mistakes and don't whine about the out outcome. True adults don't overanalyze the negative. They start looking for the positive and how they can optimize the positive. Can uh, differentiate between rational decision making and emotional impulse. Anybody here place emotional trades? Okay, a grown up, somebody who is a true grown up doesn't do that in regular life, can translate that to day trading also, and is not emotional or have or falls prey to their emotions during day trading. Understands that no skill or talent can overshadow the act of preparation. Something a lot of day traders don't do. You, you get excited, you sit down, you start trading, and you haven't properly prepared. The uh, a true adult knows that you're probably not going to be given things just because you want them. What are you going to have to do? You're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to earn it. Has learned that some things that feel good right now may not really be good for the long term. Capable of managing temper and anger. You realize what I'm going through here, right? And you see how easy, and this is a list of characteristics of just being a true adult in the real world. If you, if you relate this to your real world life, chances are you could go down the list, go, yep, yep, that's me, yep, that's me, yep, that's me. And as soon as you relate it to how you go about day trading, I'll bet a lot of you are finding little areas in here where it might be, uh, you know, you might get a little raw thinking, oh, well, I'm not, I'm not really approaching that like, a, like an adult. Being able to distinguish between needs and wants shows confidence without being overly arrogant. What, what happens? when you have had a week or two of winning trades, what, what seems to happen with your, uh, you don't just get confidence, right? You start getting a little cocky and I warn my traders, 
they they come to me and they say, Tony, I, I've had the best month I've ever had. And my first thing I say is, don't get cocky. Because whatever got you to that point, keep doing that. Okay? And too many people don't. Handles pressure with self-composure. So you guys, when you're in a, a trade that's going south, how do you handle that pressure? Takes ownership and responsibility of personal actions. Instead of blaming the markets or blaming the data feed or blaming the indicators or blaming their trading system or blaming the, the moderator in the trade room or blaming, 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 blaming. Grown up will take ownership. Manages personal fears. That was a big one for me. Fear of loss, fear of missing out. Able to see various shades of gray. You hear me? If you ever listened to me talk or you watched any of our videos or come and hung out in our trade room, you'll hear me often talking about shades of gray and, and how shades of gray can add confusion. But what happens is as a grown-up, you know that most things have shades of gray. A child, somebody who's very immature, wants to see things as black or white. There, there's only one answer. But there's always a, a, the answer is usually somewhere in the gray area or, or it's a group of answers. They're never, not necessarily a single right or wrong answer. And grown-ups know that there are lots of circumstances that goes into finding out what the right answer is. Can accept negative feedback as a tool for self-improvement. Aware of personal insecurities and self-esteem. Do what they have to do when it is required of them. So if you're responsible for becoming or, or continuing to be a winning, successful trader, and it requires uh, certain things that you do every day. You have to do those things. It's a responsibility. And I know a lot of us just want to day trade and go run off and play golf. But there's a lot more to it than that, right? They do what they can and are able to distinguish between the two and manage their time and efforts accordingly, what they can and cannot do, all right? So we can't always do what we want to do. A lot of times we do what we have to do, right? And that's called being an adult. So based on this list, you guys are sitting here listening patiently. Based on this list, are you approaching your trading career like a grown-up or not? Okay? So let's do a, a little self-analysis here. Let's do a real quick check. And I want you to be paying attention to this. All right, ready? Are you bored? Did you show up here because you thought I was going to be showing you charts and indicators and trade setups and that I would be telling you how to get rich, rich, rich and make lots and lots of money, that I'd be talking about money, 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 money. I'd be willing to bet at least a few of you have already left because I haven't been talking about what you think is important. You know, Marcus was talking about this earlier. That it, it, you think the mechanics of trading is what's important. You know, the, the order entry, the, the, you know, all the stuff that, that's the fun part of trading. You know, the charts and indicators and, and man, you want to hear me talk about easy money. So for those of you that are about to leave or, or have gotten bored and you just want me to just move on, just show me charts, show me money, show me how easy this is. I got a slide for you. Okay. There you go. So maybe you guys 
that that get kind of anxious to only hear about the mechanics of trading. You just want to know when to push the button and how much money you can make. There's a slide for you. We made uh, one and a, I don't know, million dollars uh, our first week. It's super easy. You know how many of us are, are, are anxious to give our time and money to people that make promises like that to us? Is that an adult responsible way to act? Or is it something that is caused by us being very excited? So <clears throat> how do day traders avoid trading like a grown-up? And be honest with yourself. It, if you can see this and any of this in yourself or in yourself today or even in the past, uh, and these characteristics, maybe it's time to do a little introspection and to figure out how you can approach day trading more like you approach the rest of your life. Okay? So are you constantly searching for the next best thing? Do you believe computers can do it all for you, thus removing accountability? You know, um, uh, one of the top search terms in, in trading and day trading is auto trading. Uh, not to say that, you know, I don't have anything really negative to say about auto trading other than just ask yourself a question. If it really works that well for the amount of attention it gets, why aren't we all using them? Simple question. As an adult, you have to start asking yourself questions like that. Okay. You want to believe you can make $100,000 a week with little to no risk. This is what we, this is our search. This is what we're on the hunt for when we come into day trading. You ignore the red flags of big money promises like, hey, you know, it was on the internet, so it must be true, right? There's tons of red flags that we want to ignore because they're saying, what we want to hear. You believe you can start making, you know, big money like today. You think there's a secret out there and you just got to keep looking. You just got to keep coming to, to webinars and going, searching the internet and going on YouTube. You figure the secrets out there and they know this, right? They know that's what you're looking for because look at the title of a lot of videos or a lot of emails you get. Secrets revealed, right? They know you're looking for that secret. So a lot of times you think uh, people coming into trading think, eh, a couple hours a day, and I, and I make all the money I want, and then I have all this free time to spend with my family and friends and playing golf and whatever. Most day traders have a dream and somehow they've figured out how to rationalize it as a goal. There's a difference. You don't practice day trading. You don't practice your order execution because, you know, it's just not the same as live at real trading. It doesn't have the same punch. You're not as excited. It just doesn't feel the same. So you don't do it. Gets excited each day before trading. You know, you can't, you, you can't wait to get the, the thrill of winning a trade. Personally, I've been doing this now long enough to where it's just like when I showed up at my previous jobs. It's just my job. It's just what I do. I don't get excited. I don't care. My, my palms don't sweat. My mouth doesn't get dry. I just show up and do my job. And I have one job when I'm trading. Just one. One job. That is execute my trade plan. That's it. That's all I do. Regardless of what the market's doing or, or how many losses I've taken or how many trades I've, I execute trade plan and that's my only job. Don't even have to think about it. Don't have to get worried. Don't have to stress. None of that. Sometimes you get bored. Today was, uh, it started out pretty choppy. You might've been sitting there going, I'm bored. I'm going to just throw on a trade just to see what'll happen. So what will happen is one of two things, and they're both bad. You're either going to win the trade 
which is bad because now you've just emboldened yourself to break your rules thinking that you have superpowers or you lose the trade and then you go and you feel stupid and then you go, well, it doesn't matter because it was just sin. So, but you've just told yourself, there's no reason I really have any rules. Constantly looking for a better and easier way. I don't need to say much more about that. Collecting information because, hey, you can't have too much information, right? Information's good. Information is knowledge. Nope. Information is confusing. If you have too much information, you can paint yourself in the corner because, like most people, traders, we try to use it all. But you can't. Or you're stuck in a corner and you can't move. And a lot of us get uh, uh, excited to listen to somebody who's going to tell us all about how rich they're going to make us. Usually works at the wrong things trying to learn how to not take losses. We spend a lot of time trying not to take losses. And really has never thought about that day. That day that comes. And so maybe you've gotten better at day trading. And maybe you've gotten to a point where you're making consistent and regular money, which is what everybody's trying for at first. With the thoughts of later transitioning from whatever job or profession you have now into day trading full time. Never really thought about it. How would I do that? Well, am I just going to wake up one day and call the office and say, I quit? I don't need your health insurance anymore. I don't need the, <laughs> the human resources department to help me with, you know, all of the other stuff that you get as benefits from having a, 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 a job. Um, I don't need any of that anymore. I'm going on my own. Okay. Have you ever thought about that day, what it would look like? So if you haven't, then you're really not approaching day trading like you would any other profession or any other decision you make as an adult. So let's talk about what we do and why this is day trading for grown-ups. Okay? Any of you, any of you, all of you still here? Yep. Everybody's still here. So this is what the immature day trader and maybe part of you, I don't want to call you immature, but maybe a little piece is still not quite up to the grown up stage yet. And you've been sitting there going, I wish you would just shut up and show me charts and indicators and trade setups. Well, here, here you go. <laughs> this is for you. All right. So what you're looking at here is a perfect trade setup that we trade every day, day in, day out. This is it right here. And we traded it today. We have like five of them today in our trade room. So what you're going to do to trade a, like a grown-up trading our trading system is you're going to take something simple. All of that information that you've been gathering about day trading. I mean, I've got hard drives full of stuff that I collected over the years. All that information that I gathered thinking, well, I need to know this. I need all this stuff because everybody else knows about all this stuff. And, oh, that sounds very interesting. And there's more and more and more and more and more and more. So there's just a, a ton of information out there. And what your job is, is to cull through it and find the little golden nuggets, right, that you're going to turn into a trading system. So it turns out it just adds lots and lots and lots of confusion. So what I had decided to do when I was turning my trading around was to find something very small, very simple, and do it over and over and over again and get good at just that one little thing. 
I then figured out when I got to a, a point where I was consistently successful, that's as far as I really pushed it. You have to know and understand you will accept the risk and you have to take losses to get to the winners. You have to. There's no way to day trade without taking losses. Yet, we still find it painful. So if you're still finding losses painful, you're not quite there yet to being a grown-up. We're going to limit the size of the risk on each and every trade, not based on how much money you have. We're going to limit a fixed amount each time. We're going to remove the trader from risk as often as possible by reducing the time in the market. Are the markets the same today as they were three years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago? Or are there more influences in the markets today? There are so many more influences that are, that are changing the markets every day. How can you reasonably expect to put on a trade and an hour from now that trade to do exactly what it was going to, what it was supposed to do and assume that new influences weren't going to come into the market during that hour and change everything. So what we want to do is get in and out quickly with the information that's there right now before it changes. Okay. Costs and losses are just part of doing business. Right. And that's, that's what this is, is business. What we've done and what I did, cause I failed miserably at managing my emotions. I created this so I could get in and out of a trade before emotions got hold of me. I worked really hard at managing my emotions. Now, that's what I said it takes to be an adult, right? And a grown up. So I found an area where I was not able to be a grown up. When it came to managing my emotions, I was not able to be a grown up. So instead, I created something that will remove or at least greatly reduce the need to manage my emotions as it relates to trading anyway. You have got to get comfortable being bored and maintain focus. Okay? Boredom is the biggest part of trading. And this is not why we got into trading, is it? We got into trading because it looks fun. You have structured after hours practice and study and analysis sessions every day. And you fully understand how and why that the trades are taken based on your own risk tolerance profile. Okay. Now, in our trade room, we trade from 9 a.m. to noon Eastern time every day. We trade futures contracts. We use Ninja Trader. Um, we trade for a five tick hard target. Now, some of our traders trade for a little more, a little less, but generally five tick hard target and a seven tick managed stop. So when we put on a trade, it's a bracket order. We have a target and a stop. If the conditions, remember, I mean, we're, we're trading on one minute chart. Things happen fast. If the conditions that got me into the trade change, such that I wouldn't be in that trade. I, I, I would never have entered under these new conditions. I'm going to shorten my stop. So even though I have a bracket order, that's just where we start. I may change that to 
minus five or minus three or minus two, depending on the on on how I can get out of the trade. Okay, so we have managed stops. Um, we'll have an average of five trades or so per session. Um, average time in a trade is a couple of minutes. Couple of minutes. It's hard to get too anxious or excited or scared or depressed or any of that in two minutes. Many of our trades are much shorter than two minutes. And then at the end of the, or during the session, if we hit, I say we, this is what I do. And this is what a lot of the traders that have attended our trade room over the years have also adopted because they see the logic in it and they see how well it works. The only way I ever got to see actual consistent growth was when I stopped trading after I hit uh, my hard target winners or losers for the day. So if I have a net plus three winners, I stop trading live and I finish in sim. If I have net three losers, I stop trading live, I finish trading in sim. On average, I have two to three days uh, a week, I mean uh, uh, a month, uh, that are the loser, and I stop because I've taken losses. Uh, more days than not, I uh, I end up with my net plus three winners. I call out all my trades in the trade room um, as I'm getting in the trade. So everybody knows I'm in a trade. I call it out. I say, I'm in this trade. So everybody can see whether it's a winner or a lose you know, uh, right after I call it out. So there's no hiding for me. So it's very simple. And, and we have an event coming up on Saturday. I'm going to show you that in a minute here. Um, and I'm going to go through every single step. We're going to do that now here in just a few minutes, but we're going to go through this and, uh, I'm going to, uh, teach you how to, how to do this. All right. I'm going to show you real quick here and because I'm starting to run out of time. Um, so here's the setup, but let's break it down into pieces. All right. So what we have is price is channeling, right, for several bars. And you see generally small bars. Then suddenly we get a, a breakout of this channel and price gets overbought or oversold. This goes either way. I'm just showing it uh, uh, going up. We get another bigger bar and we get a speed tick, which is that white arrow. We get the pullback alert and the ricochet. So those are, and we're overbought and we're hitting a line of resistance. So there are five things right there that tell us that that pullback is very likely, but we're going to make our decision on the open of the next bar. Okay. I'm going to go through this a little bit more quickly so we can get through it. Price hits resistance, and the open of the next bar, we get that indicator right there. That's our rock star indicator. We'll talk all about the rock star. That's by far the most popular indicator we have. All right? So it prints on the open of the next bar, and that's our trigger to short right there. Now, here's the, uh, the thing on Saturday. If uh, Let's see if I can put this link in there. Uh, where'd it go? No, it's not posting. Oh, there it is. All right, there's a number of links that uh, uh, you guys, and then if you're watching this on video, I'll put it down in the, in the description, or you can scan that uh, QR code. So we're having an event, and we're going to go over, and you're going to see these trades live and how we trade them. Um, you're going to see them on live charts. I'm not going to show you static charts and go, look, look what I did here, and look what I We're going to actually show you the trades that as they happen, okay? All right, so that's this Saturday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. All right, very simple. And I'm going to go through this quickly, and we'll go through it more slowly on Saturday. We have conditional um, process that we follow to decide if we're ready to enter a trade. It's There's no gray area. 
It's a yes or no. If the condition does not exist, that's a no. So what we do, just wait until it does exist. Once it does exist, if it's a yes, if it's not a yes, then it's a, it's a no, okay? When condition two exists, we, we check it. If it doesn't, we wait. If it does, we go to condition three. If it doesn't exist, nope, go to four, all right? So this is very simple. Anybody can do this. This is, this is a very easy step-by-step -step qualifying process for trade entry, okay? This is how we systematize many things in our lives. If we have yes on each of those conditions, guess what? It's time to enter the trade. So there's really no more confusion about, uh, man, I was constantly confused. Do I enter this trade? Is everything right? And then you enter and you go, oh, did I do that right? Well, I'm, oh, shoot, I didn't see that. I should have looked at this. I should have, oh, no. And then you go, well, I'm in the trade. I shouldn't be in the trade, but I'm in it. Let's just see what will happen. We'll just, we'll just close our eyes and hope for the best, right? Anybody else do that? Is that just me? All right, so how, do, how does it apply to this, all right? So is price breaking out of a channel? If it, the answer is no, we're going to wait. Okay, as it turns out, here, it is breaking out of a channel. We get a hard push. If we don't have a hard push, you know, if it just kind of drifts out of the channel, then we're going to wait. If it's a hard push, we, we look for a strong potential for exhaustion by finding out if it's overbought. All right? If not, we wait, and we just go on and on. And I'm going to talk about these indicators on Saturday, what they do, and why they do it. Okay? Price is breaking out of a range. The breakout bars are often much bigger than the, than the bars in the range, right? You get these smaller bars, and then suddenly you get this breakout. Now, a lot of traders are going, oh, there's a breakout. I need to get in on that breakout. And they're getting in right about the time that uh, price is becoming exhausted and price drops. So they get in and get hammered. All right, so we're looking at an increase in momentum. Price becomes overbought. Orders are processed faster than is typical for retail traders. That's a huge key to tell us what the big boys are doing. That's this indicator right here called the speed tick. This is what started me becoming a professional trader right here. This is what started my consistency. This right here, knowing and understanding when the retail, I mean the big boys, were manipulating the markets was key because when they do it, something almost always happens after that. Okay? So the price action suggests that this is a climax bar. That's this dot right here. That's telling us that. Notice all these indicators are right where our eyes are looking. I'm not looking at any other charts. I'm not looking at any other time frames. I'm not looking at any other anything. This is it. All decisions are made on based on just that. All right, we're going to talk about this more. I'm going to skip over this because we're going to go over all of this on Saturday. All right, this is our rock star setup. This is we would enter the trade right here on the open of this bar based on the criteria. Now, there's optional criteria for those traders that have been trading for um, our system for a while. They can tune it a little bit to their risk tolerance levels, okay? So you can do some tuning, but you want to you want to learn the basics first, and then over time you can start to tune it. Okay. All right. So there's some very basic rules, and then there's some ways to tune these rules. All right. 
again, a reminder, I'm going to show you videos, live videos of actual trading with moving charts, not static charts, not, not just images of charts, but actual moving charts. I'm going to show you trades that we, we take in the trade room. And the funny thing is, is they look exactly the same. We do them over and over and over again. Remember that plan, that transition plan I was telling you about? Here's another free thing that I'm going to give you. You can go and download a copy of that plan on how to start planning ahead for your trading, okay? For your trading career, you can plan ahead for it so that when it's time, you'll know it's time, you're ready to transition from your full-time job to uh, trading full-time. If you want to come hang out with us in the trade room, there's a link in the in the chat there to register for our trade room. You can take a free uh, five-day free trial. We trade those six instruments every day, day in and day out. And it's a real laid-back uh, environment with a lot of friendly people that have been, some been coming for 10, 12 years or longer. All right, and then a special offer. We all have that special offer that we're offering to you today. Um, we got a 20% off any of our trading programs. The Pro Trader is by far the most popular and has the best value. So go to our website. You've got the URL up there, and I've also put it in the chat. Go to our website. Take a look. Take a look at what's included in all the programs. If you've got any questions, our email address, I think, yep, I put it in the chat also. Feel free to ask questions, email us, and we're more than happy to help any traders that are looking for help, you know, taking that next step. Maybe you just haven't, haven't been able to quite make that next step. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to get you to back up just a little bit, become more realistic. And and I have a better understanding of what it is you need to try to accomplish to become a successful trader. Okay. All right, everybody. Hopefully, we'll see you all on Saturday. Rob, thank you very much, and and uh, thanks everybody for showing up.